Well, just minutes ago, a jury recommends that the convicted murderer, Wade Wilson, to be executed for the murders of two Cape Coral women in 2019. That recommendation came after less than two hours of deliberation. Yeah, and the state of Florida wants to execute Wade Wilson for murdering two Cape Coral women in 2019. Closing arguments are in the books, and his life is now in the hands of the court. Thank you, reporter Liz Byro is live now at the Lee County Courthouse. Liz, take us through uh, these recommendations and also what was the vibe like inside of that courtroom? Yeah, Nicole, it only took, I mean, Russ just said it only took an hour and 45 minutes for this jury to make a decision. It was a vote of 9 to 3 for the murder of Christine Melton and 10 to 2 for Diane Ruiz for this jury to recommend death. And remember, it only took 8. And this means that the jury found that the state proved at least one of four aggravating factors. This includes that these crimes were heinous, cruel, and atrocious. And this is only the jury's recommendation, not Wilson's sentence. That's up to the judge, and that will come on July 23rd. Now, nearly five years after the murder of Christine Melton and Diane Ruiz, their killer, Wade Wilson, has been recommended death. Now, again, the final step of justice for these families is on July 23rd with the judge's sentencing. And Liz, real quick, uh, we were watching Wade Wilson as the verdict came down. Absolutely no emotion shared there in, in any form or fashion, no remorse. It was basically a blank stare. And that's why he's been like this entire trial, rarely showing any kind of emotion. I mean, he has this tattooed smile on his face, but what can be mistaken as a smirk is actually just him staring straight. And that's how he sat during the sentencing. It's how he sat during trial. And we'll look to see how he looks on July 23rd with that true sentence. Yeah, of course, we will be there. Thank you so much for covering this, letting us know. Um, and yeah, we're going to hopefully have more from, from Liz coming up in our later newscast mm -hmm. as well. Thanks so much, Liz.